Hello, my name is François Dratstik. I'm in Alfie, the head of administration, also the coordinator of Alfie Digital FinTech Forum. Eduardo Ramulia, State Street Bank in Luxembourg, senior vice president, heading relationship management and sales. Ricardo Dominguez, CIO of the Logic Value. It's Franck Chatillon, Greenwich Dealing Trading Group. Daniel Coer, I'm in charge of strategy for Tokeny. It's Alexander Tkachenko, founder of VNX Exchange. Chad Grant, founder and CEO of Peer Mountain. Bruno Barbier, managing director of Board Maps Luxembourg. relationship in between the members that we do represent out of the industry and the fintech startups. State Street is one of the largest asset servicing providers in Luxembourg. We've been here for over 25 years. We are trying to put in one platform all we needed as private bankers and at the same time to comply the MIFID II regulation. An outsourcing trading solution to buy side clients, asset manager, pension funds, family office. The T-Rex, a suite of blockchain solutions to issue, manage and transfer natively compliant security tokens. We're solving an issue of long liquidity of French capital investment. An open ecosystem of trust are designed to facilitate the exchange of trusted information between business parties. The efficiency of meeting by 85%. The world of financial technology is advancing at high speed and most of the issues around fintech are having to deal with large providers already in the space for many years who are trying to help but also disrupting in a certain way. There is a lot to grow. We need to bring all existing clients to proof that it can be feasible. Anticipate the changes legislation. You really need to have liquidity and inventory. You need to have different participants coming at the same time in one place in order for it to start working. Getting big enough in a regulated environment. People are more reluctant to change than ever. Blockchain is a tool that definitely will impact not only the activities that we cover today on this conference, which is the transfer agency activity, but it will have a major impact also on fund accounting, for example, on the whole settlement process, so meaning on the custody side, plus definitely also on the regulatory side. RecTech, for example, will have a major impact on the way that that activity will be covered in the future. It's a really, really rewarding to live at this moment of, the, of technology and to make professional life easier than it was five years ago. Just be crazy a bit. Take a huge risk and focus 100% of your project. You need to rely on an ecosystem, a trusted network of partners that will open the doors that you need in order to be successful in your business. This is exactly what we found here at The Loft. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. You know, there is nothing bad. It's not the question of survival. You do not give up. Being an entrepreneur is, is tough. It takes a lot of different skills. You have to be good at everything when you're small because there is no department for each thing. And being a, a FinTech and a RegTech is even tougher because you're dealing with uh, regulatory constraints and cannot just do everything by the seat of your pants. It's an amazing world, changing every day, and it's uh, fantastic. So if you want to do something, do it. I'd love to have this collaboration with Alfie, and it shows how great the fintech ecosystem is in Luxembourg. From experience, from what I've seen, my advice is patience and try to leverage as much the work that's been done every time they go to a sales pitch and also leverage the client's clients, which will be the most compelling argument for a fintech to sell their products. <laughs>